Hello and welcome back to Products You Wish Existed, or not. This series is my definitely real product design portfolio for any uh, brands interested in having me actually design these products or in laughing at my hubris. Either way, maybe one day I'll start an evil corporation that eventually takes over the world by means of mind control and develop these myself. But until then, I'll be here. In this episode slash stealth commercial, I present the Cursed Infinity Box. Yeah, I get it. There are a lot of curses and boxes on this channel. It's not my fault that boxes are filled with endless possibilities and a ton of mysterious air particles, and that curses are filled with... curses? Yeah, that makes sense. But I swear that the Cursed Infinity Box is innovative, not like those other cursed boxes. As usual, the market comes first, followed by the purpose and the product demonstration. Have you ever felt alone, like the world is against you? Do you ever contemplate the infinitude of life in the universe? Did you recently run out of boxes? It's absolutely terrible to run out of them. To have no more own space within your own space, and to feel like your very existence is closing in around you. Once, the boxes spawned frequently. Every few days, more boxes would arrive and briefly fill the hole in your life. You grew attached to them, and they would reciprocate by allowing you to compartmentalize your thoughts inside their walls. But they would soon disappear, leaving you with no explanation and a sense of the ever-growing void. You wander your house in a fog, unable to grasp what they left you. Didn't they realize how they made you feel? How they cured your loneliness? How could they have done this to you? Your thoughts threaten to overwhelm you now, threaten to spill over into your world and drown you. Sometimes, in quiet moments, you can hear the rush of the waves. It won't be long now before they arrive. Is this you? If so, consider the cursed infinity box. Now, why would you need this? Well, if you feel the emptiness in your soul and are consumed by despairing thoughts, then the infinite space of the cursed infinity box is ideal for your needs. Screaming into a box is one of the oldest traditions of our species. Ever since boxes were invented, humans have been trapping their anguish in them. All you need to do is scream or think into the box, then seal it, or and either keep it or dispose of it in an acid box. What happens when you run out of space? That's where the cursed infinity box comes in. Legend says that it was once a normal box used to store an incredibly cursed object. The curse in the object bled into the very essence of the box and created an infinitely self-replicating pocket dimension within it. Our scientists, after years of research, have finally unlocked the secrets making boxes with this ability available to the public as a form of mental health treatment or as a safe storage space for cursed objects. Everyone knows that most boxes can only take a certain amount of despairing thoughts or curses before bursting or releasing them back into our reality. And also those thoughts slash curses get really heavy. But if you have self-replicating pocket dimensions, you'll never run out of space. Disclaimer, Stellanox Corporation is not responsible for any weaponized or cursed despairing thoughts being used against Earth in the future or the universe running out of space due to product being used as intended. Please call your local Stellanox representative for more information. But enough disclaimers. Let's get into the product description. The Cursed Infinity Box is a box with infinite openings in the shape of an infinity sign. All boxes are made with reinforced curse-proof cardboard and have a dimensional seal stamped into them in case of emergency. Do not use if there are any suspicious holes in the box. The Cursed Infinity Box comes in three fun colors, Very Void, Prismatic Plasma, and Shiny Silver, available in stores before the dawn of the next century. And now, for the product demonstration. Let me just... get this... Man, these boxes are heavier than I thought they would be. This one already filled? Wait. Where'd it go? I just had the box. Where, did I drop it? It's not on the floor, though. Where? Oh god, we forgot to seal the other side. So many tentacles. I've been Raina Dunactus, currently perceiving the void. Like and subscribe if you want more jokes, don't subscribe if you're afraid of the truth, and maybe reconsider eating that taco. In my next video, I'll be weighing the pros and cons of microwaving a brick. I'll see you next time.